If you guys want the new chapter 6 battle pass, I'm going to be gifting it to 10 people who like and comment on this video. I recommend you actually watch the video and leave a thoughtful comment. This will increase your chances, then I'll reply to you to get your username. Fortnite chapter 6 is here, and today I'm going to be giving you the best settings for the best performance this chapter. Now I say this chapter because this will literally apply for like the whole chapter, but I'll probably make an updated video every season just in case. Now if this video helps, drop a like, subscribe, da -da -da, all that good stuff. Um, Let's just get straight into this. So right now... What I'm on is Diet X11. Now you may be thinking, but I use performance mode. Now the reason I'm on here is because your Diet X11 settings are going to directly impact your performance mode settings. A lot of people still don't know this, but yeah, that is the truth. So I know it's annoying. Switch over to Diet X11, copy these settings, and then we'll switch back to performance mode. Trust me on this. It's going to make a huge difference. Now starting off with window mode, we're going to speed through this little bit right here. The display settings, you'll kind of know this as well as the graphics, the video settings on the main part. But yeah, window mode, full screen, have this on full screen. Now a lot of people don't mention this but on windowed full screen so windowed full screen not full screen this option right here you actually like in my opinion the game feels a lot smoother but the issue is you're gonna induce input lag which means you're just gonna increase your input delay it's gonna feel very like i don't know how to explain it like delayed it's just literally that's it it's gonna feel delayed your edits are gonna be delayed it's gonna almost be like you're on high pink windowed mode kind of the same thing but again it'll induce input lag with window mode you can make your screen even smaller you can change that for yourself which will actually make it even smoother but again more input delay just more input delay every time with these things. Full screen will give you the lowest latency. It will still be relatively smooth. And again, if you're following this video and you've optimized your PC through my other videos, you'll near get one to one response time and it won't really be a problem. And you do generally get better FPS with full screen. Resolution, mine's a 1920 by 1080. I found, I'll link the video down below. You can go and watch it. It's really important for this because I found that native resolution gives you better FPS and stretch resolution in some cases, especially for high-end PCs. So yeah, I'm on native, but these are all 16 by nine. You know, they're like technically native just lower resolution so yeah don't be afraid to go to 1600 by 900 or 1280 by 720 if you have a really bad pc v-sync always have this off unless you cannot get over 60 frames if you're really struggling that bad maybe put this on frame rate limit basically you can just cap this to your refresh rate if you have 60 hertz don't put it on 60 fps either use like 120 144 or just go unlimited and for anyone with like a mid-tier to high-end pc if you're playing creative honestly put it on unlimited you'll get lower latency and frames are not going to really be dropping as much like they do in game or like in battle royale rendering mode yeah direct x11 i've already mentioned this we're gonna go to performance mode don't worry brightness mine's on 150 this is all uh you know subjective it's personal preference don't worry about this motion blur this isn't personal preference turn this off use interface parallax off never and i mean never ever set auto set quality just don't do it trust me don't do it change this to custom if you can sometimes you can't it's just because you haven't customized the settings yet so put it on the lowest option and then we'll customize them it would automatically then change to custom ignore this do not open their website anti-aliasing mode have this off temporal super resolution have this on custom 3d resolution this is on 75 here this is because it's a default value that gets set from performance mode just honestly keep it on this we're gonna go and change that in performance mode don't worry about that it can literally you can change this value to anything right now off off literally just copy these i don't i don't want to sit and dwell on these for too long if you want to look at my more in-depth videos you can do that this is just to kind of get you guys set so you can stop playing view distance medium we'll talk more about that when we're in performance mode and then these copy these religiously like copy these religiously these need to be copied right here I know a lot of people are going to start um, questioning the NVIDIA reflex low latency mode. You want to actually set this to on in your NVIDIA control panel settings. I've got a whole NVIDIA control panel settings video that I'll link down below. I don't just want to plug my videos, but yeah, this is very important. So go and check that out. I'll be making a new one soon as well. But yeah, have this off in here. Set it in your NVIDIA control panel settings if you can do that. But finally, now you've copied those settings. That's the boring part. That was the longest part. Now we're going to quickly speed through and show you the performance mode settings. So yeah, just toggle this, change it to performance mode and relaunch your game. 3D resolution it's actually scientifically technically proven um that having this on 99 or anywhere at least above 90 but below 100 is going to improve your fps it's actually gonna do that so your one percent lows highs they're, they're gonna be higher you're gonna get better performance so honestly set this to 99 it's a little little trick and if you have a really bad pc you can actually set this to like 75 percent but it's probably not gonna look good ignore this as you can see it's grayed out view distance have this on medium if you have this on medium obviously you can have it on near it's gonna make your game look a little worse if it's on there and actually some people do say having this on medium helps kind of render the further textures so like guns and stuff before you get to them and essentially what it's doing is almost pre-rendering them and what it would do is when you actually maybe let's say where a fight is there's a lot of loot on the floor so that loot needs to render it's going to start rendering as you're literally coming up to the loot and what that can do is then drop your frames if you can render it when you're a little further away and you're probably not engaging in the fight yet when you actually get to the fight it's already rendered and you're not going to be getting any fps drop so medium is what 
is recommended. A lot of pros are on this strat. Textures, have them on low. Meshes, have them on low. Show FPS, doesn't matter. Obviously, the less you have on your screen, I'll get into that in a second, but it will benefit your FPS. This really doesn't matter though. Report performance stats, make sure to have that off. Going over to volume real quick. We're going to get into the DX11 stuff, but going over to volume. This is just what I have. It's very subjective. This works good for my headset. Sound quality, I have one on high. It's going to give you basically the best competitive advantage because you can hear more sounds and more footsteps. But the issue with this is it will decrease performance. It literally says here, but may decrease performance. So if you have a bad PC, turn it off. Anything like if you have an RTX card, for the most part, you'll be fine with this. Everything else you can kind of have off. Visual sound effects I do have on. Again, this is subjective. It depends if you want it on or not. It will decrease performance. It doesn't mention it here, but yes, this will decrease performance massively. Um, a lot of pros are using it though, because it's a great competitive advantage. It's really handy. I use it with high sound quality and I have no issues really in my frames. It's like a 15 FPS difference maybe. Going into game settings, make sure you have your matchmaking region set to your actual region opposed to auto. Having it set to your actual region basically helps the game recognize your closest sub server rather than just connecting you to like auto random server in Europe. It will connect you to the closest one. So for me, that's London. For some people that may be somewhere in like, I don't know where the servers are, like Switzerland, France, Ireland. Scrolling down the building, you may think this doesn't affect your frames, but it does. Disable pre-edit option, have that turned off. This will affect your frame. Your edits are going to feel a lot snappier having this turned off. People also do say that auto confirm edits can change your frames. I don't think so. A lot of pros are on it, but then again, like clicks. One of the best pros mechanically has this turned off. Make sure NVIDIA highlights are turned off, peripheral lighting off, FOV minimum and maximum. The lower you have this, the less your game has to render because obviously there's a bigger field of view and your game has to render more textures. So having this lower will benefit your FPS, you know, when you're sprinting and such, but I have mine on max out because I just like how it looks. Totally up to you. Replays have these all turned off, every single one. And actually this season, they enable themselves again. I don't know why that happened. Definitely check this. For me, they enable themselves again. These are meant to be off. That's crazy that that happened. Um, energy saving, turn these both off as well. It's going to really do your frames wonders. And actually game UI, I didn't mention it, but having less things on your screen does actually benefit your performance. And even your reticle here can make your performance worse if you've got them on the wrong setting. So copy what I've got here. These are all the best. The main thing is damage numbers and your reticle damage feedback. Have that turned off. Number scale, it's good to turn this down if you can, but I have mine on 100. I think that's a default. HUD scale, the lower this is, probably the better, but for the most part, it's not that big of a difference. But make sure you copy my current settings here. So everything here, copy. Trust me, you're not going to need anything. If there's anything that you clearly like care about, like quest progress, have that on. But for the most part, for you comp players, people that are playing arena, it's not going to matter. And now what we're going to do, we're going to head into Diet X11. I'm going to restart my game. All right, we're in Diet X11. These settings are very, very important. What you're going to do is, first of all, don't worry about your auto set. Don't mess with this. It isn't going to do anything for you. It actually isn't very good. So uh, change your quality preset. You may have a custom option, but if you don't, just set it to low at first and then changing these settings below it will make it a custom preset essentially. So I guess in for most cases, set this to low if it isn't already on custom. You want to turn anti-aliasing off, this off, temporal super resolution off. These are only good for like the really high end, like 4090 RTX super TI $4,000 graphics cards. But even then, like it's not going to give you the best performance. No one's doing that for competitive or even like generally half decent casual play. Don't bother with it. Have literally all of these off. Like just make sure they're all off. That's, that's the key thing here. For the most part, they should be but just make sure they're all off because some may be on and you can't change them in performance mode. So ensure they're all off here. Everything, obviously, besides view distance, keep it on medium. Everything we already previously mentioned. Some very important things down here. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I have mine turned off. Now, this is something you have to test and I know that is very annoying to hear. For me, having this turned off has actually been better for me. I have low latency in my NVIDIA control panel turned off and I'm going to do an NVIDIA control panel video probably tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. It's very important. That works in tandem with this setting right here. But for the most part, you guys will probably want this on on plus boost. For most people that have, you know, any card that isn't like, you know, a 20 series RTX card, have this on on plus boost. Anyone else, you may not even have this option. But if you do and you have a bad graphics card and you know you do, have this turned off. For me, I have a good graphics card, but the way I've got this set up in sync with my control panel, my NVIDIA control panel, actually works better. I get lower latency and this reflex low latency stuff actually does the opposite. It's counterintuitive. So I have mine off for the most part, have this on on plus boost, but it's worth testing. Thing, but I guess wait for my next video because that will help. But once you've done all that, you're 
pretty much good to go. Change your rendering mode back to performance mode. Press apply. Restart now. And last but not least, before that restarts, we're going to go into our library. So go open up your Epic Games launcher and go down to these three dots on your Fortnite application. You want to find options and make sure everything here is turned off besides the required. Obviously, this you, you can't untick this. And if you can, don't. Um, besides pre-download streamed assets, keep that one on. What it does is it installs assets that would usually be streamed during gameplay. So basically what it would do if you have it turned off, it's downloading assets in the game and like graphical textures and such during the game. This is done to spread load, but what it actually does is creates more load when you're actually fighting. So if you're running around the map and it's downloading them, it's fine. You know, it isn't doing too much at the start. It's a little less harsh on your PC in very like lightweight casual moments, but it's actively downloading all this memory and storage on your system every single game when you could just pre-download them. So you could download everything currently, one download done, and then it never does it again during the gameplay. It's out the way. You're not going to lose frames because of it. So enable this, everything else turn off, obviously besides, you know, these two, just just, just copy this. And what you can also do is now underneath options, go to manage. You can actually make sure to copy all this, um, but you can actually add these launch options. Now, I'm not going to include them in the description. They're, honestly, I'll be real. It feels like a placebo. I think it was proven to be a placebo, but placebo works. You know, people say this study done. Placebo works. So I have them in here. It's not going to be the be all or end all, but if you want to add them in hopes that one day they do something, just add them. You literally just type it out, dash this space, dash no splash, dash you know, and you can find them online, but I'm not gatekeeping. Just, I don't think it's relevant, but I may as well mention it because they're here.